Hello again there, friends and fans, no, peasants and serfs of Raptoria. Welcome to our first look at First Feudal, a game available now on Steam that allows you to build a kingdom in the style of kind of like Factorio, like the art style kind of reminds me of that, but also a little bit of RimWorld and a few of those top-down building games that's really cool. We'll be able to be a king and help build our kingdom or command our serfs to do so as we build walls and towers and defenses to stop the invaders, build a beautiful castle, do some farming, trade, and much more. We're very close to 1 million subscribers, and 75% of the people who watch do not subscribe, so make sure you smash that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. Come on now, it's free to do, and we're almost to that 1 million, so make sure you can say you were in before the 1 million. If you don't, I know you'll find another video and come on back to me anyway. So, thanks again for liking, thanks for becoming members, and thanks for watching the channel and just hanging out. You guys are amazing. Glory to Raptoria down below in the comments section. Get it done. And let's go ahead and take our first look at First Feudal. It's also multiplayer too, by the way, so that's pretty sweet. Let's start a single player game here. We'll start a fresh, brand new game and take our first look at what it has to offer. A very uh, high level of difficulty, it seems, for di uh, different things here. Map size and Iron Mad mode too, if we want to. Or we can make a lot of different changes to all the different specs of the game. Everything from uh, food desirability, humidity, amount of forestry, how often we'll be attacked. Yes, there are defenses in this game. And uh, let's see here, peasant arrival rate. So it looks like a lot of things to either make it more difficult or harder uh, in certain ways other than others, or we can make it much easier and have a peaceful experience if we just want to build. So that's cool. We'll start with the tutorial on, and we'll take our fresh first look. Starting now, choose your starting bonus, copper sword or stone throne. I guess the one on the left allows us to personally participate in the village, uh, village development and defense. And the one on the right allows us to basically sit back and command everyone using a management style if we want to. Well, let's go ahead and start with the copper sword. I think it'll be cool to jump in there. And we'll go ahead and take our first look. Here we go. And here we are. Now you can see what I was saying about it kind of being like, uh, I don't know, maybe like RimWorld a little bit, but also Factorio at the same time. At least that's that's what I think. That's what it feels like to me. WASD to move around, scroll wheel to move in and out, space to pause the game, F1, 2, and 3 to adjust the speeds. Nice. Well, we're already off to a good start. Looks like we got mountains down here. Uh, suitable farmland here, maybe building land here. I don't know what that is. Dirt there. Uh, build... Menu, build a main square. Well, let's look around a little bit before we do that. Ooh. Actually, this would be a very good defensive position over here. The enemy wouldn't be able to come uh, from, like, behind us or anything like that. We could build right up against the mountain here, and we'd have some water and a beautiful little river here. What is that there? Is that, like, a whirlpool or something? That looks dangerous. Maybe it's where fish are. All right. Open the build menu. Select the main square. And plop that bad boy down. Looks like we can only build it here in the green spots. Oh, so we can't... Wait. Oh, wait, what's this green stuff down here? Maybe this is meadow or something. Let's build it up here. We can also rotate. So I think it'd be a good idea if we kind of start our market somewhere around here. Um, and we'll build it half and half since I'm not sure. All right, build the main square by hitting its center with a hammer. Left mouse button. Okay. Ah, so we're putting down logs to start a campfire. A new beginning. My head is aching from what happened yesterday. I have to disappear. No, I won't die in this forest just because my blood isn't blue enough. I'll prove that I deserve so much more than just being forgotten. But firstly, let's solve the more important issue. Where do I sleep tonight? Let's get started. Yeah, so a little bit of like banished vibes here already. Oh, nice. A cart pulled over. Hey, what's up? Our friends are here. Very nice. Open the city menu. Make the first peasant a woodcutter. Okay. Make the second peasant a builder. Okay. And let's see what we can do next. All right, so one of them's cutting down trees. The other one's going to build something, I guess, whatever we order. Open the build menu, select sleeping bag, rotate, and place two sleeping bags. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Well, obviously, R is always rotate for most games. Uh, let's go ahead and put our sleeping bags uh, over here, I guess. We'll put our sleeping over here for now. And he'll go and build that stuff ASAP. All right, go to the cart. Open the cart. Optional. Transfer boiled vegetables or jerky to your inventory. Oh, really? Well, I guess we'll just take like a couple of each. There we go. Uh, eat jerky or boiled vegetables. Rice, right, rice mount, mount button. Yes, not right mouse button, but the rice mount button. Okay. Uh, let's see. So this is our character here. Oh, you can press tab to go between normal and strategic mode. Ah, so tab allows us to look around and like command our city without having to walk around. Oh, cool. So we can see the whole map here. All right. This is nice. This looks like a giant, ooh, like kind of the wetlands or something like that. More more than like a river, it looks uh, kind of just like a marshy area. Okay, maybe. All right, that looks fine. 
Uh, eat jerky. Right, let's do that now. Okay, so we got to go to our menu. We got to eat some jerky. There we go. Nice. Off to a very good start. Glory to Raptoria. Uh, let's see. Open your inventory. Switch to an active weapon slot by pressing Q. Oh, I see what they want us to do. Okay, let's take the uh, axe and put that away. And put the uh, sword in there. There we go. Put stone axe in the cart. Okay. So now we're going to put that in there for more workers to assist us. Let's throw another one in there. But I feel like we're going to want that back to cut down trees or something in the future. Build a carpenter's workbench. Select it. Uh, order planks. And build 25 yourself or by artisan. Okay. Oh, look at all this new stuff we can build. Wooden chests. Stone quarry. Carpenter's workbench. Kitchen. Workbench for tools and weapons. All right. Let's build a carpenter's workbench. I guess we'll build it close to the market square. We're going to have to eventually build houses around this stuff, but I guess we're going to have to be outside for now. Okay, so now the one of the builders is going to work on that. Let's assign the other person to the... Oh, we can assign somebody to be a hunter. Hmm. Well, they did say something about artisan, but I can't do that yet, so we'll just assign you to be a hunter. And this person needs logs. And you have pretty much only... Like, one log there. Oh, let's put those back. Okay, so we can, like, build the one. All right, let's go ahead and equip our uh, axe here and see if we can help out. We'll go ahead and take this hammer back, and we'll go ahead and try to put the axe in there. Oh, I see. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and grab a axe, and let's see if we can make... Debris can be dug out with shovel or pitchfork. Oh, okay, they're telling us that we can... Wait, are these... Wait, what is this stuff here? Oh, maybe there's goodies underneath there. Oh, the trees have to be uh, cut from an angle. I see. All right, we're going to cut down some logs here. Our stamina is kind of low. All right, brother, I'm going to drop off the rest of the logs for you. Looks like he only needs... Oh, he's already done. Fantastic. All right, build. select the carpenter's workbench and select cr uh, planks to craft. So we need to make how many? Craft 25. What does this do? Oh, there we go. We can have a little slider there. So let's, yeah, craft 25 of those. Craft yourself or craft until. Craft X or craft until X. Uh, we'll just do one for now. Okay, so now we just need to have it done by us or an artisan. So we can assign somebody else to be an artisan now. So Hunter, you become an artisan now. We'll constantly need logs to be cut down and planks to be made. So that's going to be an important thing. And we'll go ahead and wait until they do that. And keep making some more wood because that's going to be important. There we go. Nice so far. Looks like we're getting tired. Alright, let's go ahead and drop off some more wood. There you go, sir. Oh, nice. We got a good stack of wood there. He's got 20. Five more to be made. I think we're going to need more than that. Let's make another 25, I guess. Alright, well, something else to do. Go to sleep. Press E at the sleeping bag. Place two wooden chests during your sleep. Oh, we can give commands while we're sleeping. Awesome. All right, place two wooden chests while we sleep. Okay, well, let's go ahead and put one here. Ah, I see it'll be connected to the workbench. That's cool. Let's put one there. And we'll put another one there. And then we'll put another workbench next to it when we need to. All right, they want us to wake up. So wait for rest restoration of maximum stamina. So I guess that purple bar needs to disappear. Here. It looks like fullness is at the bottom, stamina and health on top of that in green. Oh yeah, there we go, 96, 97, okay. So it just needs to disappear and go to the hundo. There we go. Let's wake up. Perfect. All right, everybody's working like crazy. Awesome. Build a stone quarry near the mountains, assign a miner, and mine some stone. All right, let's do it. Well, that's easy. We just basically designate a spot to where to do it. Oh, 10 and 20. Okay, hopefully we have enough planks and such for this. Uh, let's see. Well, we're all out of planks now. Unless they put them in here for storage. Ah, there's some. We have four there. Twenty here. Okay, so we'll take the twenty. And we need ten regular logs now. I can do a little building here, I suppose. Or let our worker do it. Oh, he's already cracking. Okay. Well, geez, you guys are so effective. You're leaving me nothing to do. I guess that's, uh, why I'm king, I guess. All right, build a stone quarry near the mountains, and all that other stuff is underway. What else can we do in the meantime? So it's a very beautiful world. Looks like we started in the corner here, and this is a really good way to defend. Like, if we build a castle here, uh, we can kind of just build it, like, we can just build, a, like, a tower and a, and a wall here, because I don't think the enemy can come up from behind us. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work. 
But there seems to be a lot of water around too. Let's take a look with the uh, camera here. Yeah, if we if we build in the center, there's just basically a small island there. Oh, well, that might be a good place to build our keep. Ooh, we could actually build like a a castle out here if we wanted to, and we could build a village here nearby. Oh, this might end up being really good. We've got like a natural defense all the way around us. That could work out really well. I wonder if we can build drawbridges and stuff here. And nobody can attack from the north. It's blocked. Maybe they can, but it'll be very strangled attack for them. Good. Very good. Okay, we need to assign somebody to be a quarry operator next. So let's do... Oh, I guess the job needs to be done first. Okay. Well, somebody's not working yet, so... Somebody's sleeping! Sleeping on the job. That's fine. Big day. They were busy. Let's take one plank, and we need the rest to be logs. So we're going to have to cut down some more stuff there. Oh, now you're back to work again? Sir, every time I try to help you out... Oh, well. Oh, wow. Another song. This game's got incredible music. Where's this music coming from? Yeah, let's keep cutting down trees. Oh, we're out of stamina again. There we go. Okay, I tried to get as much of it as I could. Alright, let's drop this off of the builder. Oh, looks like we have a quarry ready to go now. Perfect. Well, we got ten logs ready. Alright, now we need to assign a miner the profession of mining. And we just need to get some stone collected now. So the chest will probably be filled with logs, lumber, and stone. So lots to do. Alright. I think we should keep cutting down trees in the meantime. I want more surf so we can get more people to cut. Uh, build a workbench for the tools. Assign a weaponsmith. And craft stone, axe, hammer, and pick. Ah, okay. Alright, let's do that. Now we got to build a new thing. So that is the weapon bench. Okay, cool. Ah, that's going to take sticks now. Or at least it looks to be sticks. Is that... Oh yeah, wooden sticks. Okay. So we need 20 of those. Let's go ahead and cancel the plank construction. Make some sticks, my man. I'll drop off some more logs for you. Ah, so they stack to ten. That's helpful. Anything else in the cart? We have some hide, some wool, jerky, sickles, pickaxes, and our other axe that we have. Okay. So now we need sticks to be made. Then we need to assign a weaponsmith. Do we have another person free? Uh, we probably will when we get the first job done. They'll probably give us a, another free worker. What are all these animals down here? We can do animal husbandry, so farming will be a thing. We've got ourselves, like, what looks to be ram, sheep. I think I saw... Did I see a cow or something before? There's got to be cows, right? Cows and deer and such to go hunting. So we should be able to, like, you know, do some dairy and then go for uh, hunting for deer and maybe rabbits. Maybe we can go trapping. Oh yeah, it even shows the animal's sex down here. So that way we can uh, get the correct ones for breeding. Alright, debris can be dug out with a shovel or a pitchfork. Oh, well, let's try that then. Is this a pitchfork? Alright, where's the debris here? Is, are the, is there things here that we can get? Or is this just blocking construction? Would this give us some sort of a bonus to collect? Let's try this. Oh! Ah, we did collect something out of it. Oh, wow. Oh, free stuff. Hey, hey. Nice. We're collecting, like, fabric and lumber. Oh, cool. So these must be, like, carts or something that were destroyed before. Oh, not enough stamina, bro. I want more. Assign a weaponsmith profession. Oh, I can't do that anymore. Uh, let's just assign our builder to weaponsmith. And we need to craft one of each. So let's do that. So, one stone axe, one hammer, and one pickaxe. There we go. He'll get to that as soon as possible. In the meantime, let's grab all of our extra goodies here. Almost like a rake. There we go. Oh, that's wonderful. We got a lot of materials out of that. Looks like we have a hammer, too. Okay, I'm going to drop off all these materials here. This is like a level 2? It's a different color. Huh. Drop off that old one. That seems to be rope or wire, maybe? Okay, so now we need one of our people who are sleeping to go work at one of the benches. 
That is rope. That's what we found. Nice. Okay. What else can we find? Is there another one around here? Digging out the uh, rubble is a good idea. Or whatever that was. I don't see any more in my immediate vicinity, so that's fine. We'll go ahead and put that away. Alright, let's get rid of that. And we'll equip the axe and the sword again. We'll put the... Hmm... I guess we'll put the pitchfork back in there. Alright, cool. So now we just need to craft a stone, axe, hammer, and pick. We just need somebody awake to do it. What is this guy doing exactly? Looks like he's holding a gun. Oh, he's getting his stamina back up. Oh, yeah. Two or three swings and he's out of energy. I don't blame him. Okay, we've got wooden sticks and stones here. Maybe I can craft some myself while we're waiting. Let's try that. Uh, we'll craft ourselves. We, we got all the materials. Everybody's sleeping, so we'll keep things rolling. Or at least the other people are. All right. So we got a little bit more going on. Okay, so that's one then. Oh, we don't have enough resources. So what do we need to craft that? I thought stone and stick would be enough. Ah, uh, we need more stick. That might be it. So there's 20 sticks there for us. There, that should help. And then let's drop one off here. And we'll drop the hammer off. And the other axe, too. Alright, let's try that now. Now we'll craft a hammer. And then next we'll do a pickaxe. And then we'll let the other guy work on all the stuff for us. 10 out of 26 on the tutorial. We're just seeing the basics of the game. So we're probably going to be making weapons next. And then also... Uh, probably be building a farm and things to get us started. Okay, one more thing we need to craft here. Just the pickaxe. Interesting. What was that information up there? Not enough stamina. Uh, peasant got a new trait. Rain man. Ooh. New peasants arriving. Awesome. Alright, there we go. Next objective. We'll drop this off for these guys. Uh, let's see. Set uh, command until 15 snakes on the kitchen. Oh, now we're going to build a kitchen. Okay. Let's build a kitchen now. I guess we'll have all the boxes connected. There we go. All right. Build a kitchen now, folks. We'll go ahead and put all these materials away so somebody can build. So it's eight planks and ten stone. So we got... Wait, do we have the planks? Uh, yep, we have the enough planks and stone we have enough too. All right. Maybe I'll do that. I think our builders are sleeping. Actually, no. I'm the king. I want to I want to start making everybody else do this stuff. Let's eat two. There we go. All right, let's start having everybody else work. You, sir, are going to be a builder as well. There we go. Good idea on that one. So you're going to build the kitchen, and then we'll assign a cook. So we got to build the kitchen, uh, assign a hunter profession, artisan profession, and select uh, set craft command until 15 steaks in the kitchen are done. So we got to go hunting, I guess. All right, so a little bit more. Ooh, it's going to be nighttime soon. Is everyone else assigned to jobs? Weaponsmith, woodcutter, artisan, miner, and builder. Enemies are near. Robbers from Rome and nearby forests. What should we do? Three men and an average of equipment 17 versus our six men with an average level of 18. The enemy is weaker. Uh, well, we have nothing to fear. Postpone decision for four hours. Uh... Well, I, I guess we can win. Let's just make sure we got a sword ready. Oh, is the enemy attacking? Oh, God. All right, we have our sword ready. Enemies attacking, boys. Wait, that means we got a call, call to arms? Get ready. Rally on me, boys. Where are they coming from? Where are they at? Oh, here they come. I see them. Oh boy. Okay, this could all be over soon. Well, in the meantime, while we're waiting, I'll just go ahead and get to work on this. They got a long way to run to us. All right, let's go ahead and make 15 stakes. Ah, 20 is fine. Go ahead. Sign a farmer profession. Harvest pumpkin seeds and harvest flax seeds from wild farms. Boy, I hope everybody's got an axe or something. Grab a ha axe, a hammer, whatever you got. They're coming, boys. Nighttime attack is inbound. This music is awesome. Defend the fire. 
Go, go, go. Get him, boys. Did we get? Did, did we got? We got him. Holy crap. Whoa. Oh, oh, God. Oh. Uh, nice job, boys. Wow. Oh, they, they got wrecked. Get wrecked, nerds. Get wrecked. All right. Assign a farmer uh, profession. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think we need the woodcutter still. Miner. Let's go ahead and have you be a farmer now. There we go. Harvest pumpkin seeds from wild farms. Harvest flaxseed from wild farms. What does that mean? I'm not sure exactly how to do that. Oh, wait, are these wild farms here? Like these little fields? Oh, it's a wheat field. Okay. So we can randomly go find flax and pumpkins. Well, we saw a pumpkin down here. Oh, well, I guess we already did that. Research vegetable science. Okay. Oh, science! Alright, we can do research now. Good, good, good. Glory to Raptoria. We kicked those guys' butts. Now we're on to the next one. Assign a farmer profession to a, f a peasant. We did that, I thought. Uh, research vegetable science. Vegetable... Vegetable science. Look at all these research things, though. Oh, this is cool. Bring us right up to the uh, age of steel, probably. Improved infrastructure, beekeeping, road building... We can make bronze weapons. All right. And upgrades, too. Lots of upgrades for different ages. Precise hits, fortifications, high-quality weapons. Very nice. All right, research vegetable science. Where's vegetable science? Uh, let's see. Oh, we should probably go to the top. Stone processing, primitive whatnot. I guess this is vegetable science there. Okay. Assign a farmer to a peasant. Well, we kind of already did that. Let's make him a woodcutter than a farmer again. There we go. Plant 10 pumpkin farms in wetlands. Uh, set pumpkin seed recipe on the kitchen. Pumpkin seed recipe. Ah, oh, so we're going to go get pumpkins and then continuously gather the seeds. Okay. So let's set that recipe. Okay, I guess we'll keep that together. Both of those can go. Plant 10 pumpkin farms in the wetlands. So pumpkin farm... How do I do that exactly? This must be this menu here. Ah, there we go. So I can mark where the farms are going to be. Farms planted near water give 25% more crops than on, on grass. Oh, like here? Oh, I see. So we got to grow this like in the swamps. Oh, there's some nice territory down here. So we need to do 10, right? So that's uh, 9, 10. There we go. All right, nice. Do research on stone processing, build an ordinary quarry, build a table for masonry, and build three obelisks. Whoa, okay. Stone processing. Oh, we can't research it just yet. Uh, research stone processing. Hmm. Age progression two out of seven. You have to study five more scientists in age one to unlock the second age. Oh. Uh, how do we, like, do science, though? I wonder how we generate science points. Uh, build an ordinary quarry. Maybe that, some of that stuff's unlocked. Not until after researching. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Let's see. Oh, wow. We got a lot of stuff in here now. Wheat. Whoa, where's all this stuff coming from? Flax? Wheat? Oh, my goodness. That's awesome. Well, let's grab a little bit of food. Oh, looks like we make bowls and stuff from eating, too. Our people are going to be quite hungry soon. We got jerky with us. I ate two of that and it barely even increased our fullness. 200 out of 200. Oh, okay. Ah, maybe we should nap again. Let's go for a little nap or ruski. All right, well, we can still work while we're doing that. Our character's just down for now. 22, 109. I want stone processing. And not enough points to research that science. Okay, so the question is, how do I generate research points? Oh, we're looking on decoration now? Oh, right, yeah, we're going to build obelisks. So maybe that'll attract more people to our city. Well, let's wait till our king here is fully rested. Stone processing is next. So that's the one there. Oh, looks like we're short on a bed or two. Our king is almost fully rested. So the beginning of our second day, almost our first day, is all over. All right, there you go, folks. We're up now, ready to go. 
Okay, so... I don't know exactly how to continue to gather science points. Maybe there's a building I can build for that. I don't think so. Resources? Can't, like, read any books or anything, can we? Uh, loot remains. Oh, did we get anything from those guys that died? Oh, maybe that's where we got some of our... Maybe some of the stuff we got was from them. Let's see real quick. They may have been carrying some stuff on them. Hmm. Nope. Doesn't seem like anything too fancy. Alright, research stone processing. How do I do this? Upgrades. Let's see. Transfer points. Hmm. How do we generate science? Let's see. Generating science points. Resource list. Uh, character professions common. Where's research? Science. There we go. Uh, let's see. N. Okay. To unlock new science, you have to accumulate enough points in any previous one. You get points for using that of the science. Building buildings, harvesting plants, and crafting items. Oh, okay. So we have to do the thing in the relative field, which is why we stopped generating points in that field. Okay. So, Builder, you are now a miner. And the Weaponsmith can also do mining. Okay. And then the Artisan, you can do more wood cutting. There we go. And that'll allow us to get more. Okay, so that, that makes sense. Good thing we looked into that. That's cool. A little helpful guide there. Nice. Not bad for a first look. I'm going to move some of this wood up here. So it's nearby to convert into planks. We should probably turn all this stuff into planks. And then the rest into sticks. We're going to be using that the most. Alright, how are we doing on science points, ladies and gentlemen? We need, to re we need to do more logging. What's next? Sheep breeding. Ah, so we can start animal husbandry soon. Or work our way around the long way to hide armor. Hmm. That's age one. So soon we can start doing fishing, woodworking, more advanced woodworking, and copper. And make homes out of stone. Oh, we can make wooden houses too. So yeah, logging is going to be definitely important. So let's see. We have 109 uh, on locks. Main square, workbench, etc. Okay. Uh, peasants have new traits. Very nice. Unlock stone block. Unlocks building ordinary quarry. Yeah, etc. Okay. You guys still generating your points over there? Okay. Let's see. We're at 109. Hmm, that doesn't seem to be working. No science can be... Automatically get upgrade points can be used to upgrade global things. To upgrade points tier depending on your science tier. Scientific research or... Oh, it's divided into ages. Yes, of course. We saw that before. Okay. Can't do anything on the fire. I thought we could possibly, like, maybe build something with the fire, but I guess not. A new person has arrived. Wonderful. Uh, village population is enough to get a new trait. Oh, great. Uh, let's do another... Let's do a mover. This person will take things from one place to another. Well, that's actually everybody's secondary job, so let's do another... Let's do an artisan now. There we go. We'll get you on making planks and such for us. So let's go ahead and make a bunch more planks. Let's go. Yep, 20 is fine. Then let's get uh, more hammers and stuff ready. Seems like a good call. And then food. We're still making... Steaks and pumpkin seeds. Right, okay. 109, 35. Can't cancel these. And I can't select that one. Hmm. Alright, well, regardless, we got a lot more people coming to the city. Now, should I cut down some things? What do we have for our... Yeah, we have a thing here. Maybe we should make planks. Can we make any more planks? What do we have for planks? Yeah, it looks like we're kind of short on planks, I think. Well, we've got 40 or so. It's not too bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that. Wow. A bunch of logs just got delivered. Nice. Very nice. What else can we put down for stuff here? So we put down a weapons workbench. That's another thing we should put down. Apparently, it can't pull into that one. Ah, there we go. Have to set it the right way. 
Okay, so now the builders should be able to come over and build that. So we have sticks and lumber available for that. So he should have everything he needs. The builder should be ready to go. Nice. Let's take a look back at science. 109. Upgrades. Age 1. Improved benches. Plants for smoking. Workouts. Comfortable beds. Animal breeding. So if we research seven of these, then we can go to the next age. And it seems like the same for all other ages, too. Very nice. All right, this will take a while as we've got a little bit to do before everything's constructed. Now, if we get uh, our hammer back, let's take a look. There we go, we got a hammer again. All right, so now we just need uh, stick and lumber. So we need 20 lumber. 15 sticks, but this should do. Almost there. Nice. All right, so now we got a weapons thing going, just in case we need it. And another night. Oh, fire lights up at nighttime. Oh, but it's raining now. We'll see if it stays lit then. Lit and dank. Okay, that all looks good. Okay, we now have uh, 180 out of 250 for primitive technology. So if we make more weaponry and such, that should help us out. Let's make some weapons. So we can make wooden clubs there, that's about it. I think we should probably get more tools. Definitely want to make some more of these. So we'll make some more axes, since we're cutting down trees like crazy. And then we'll probably make some more picks, because we're going to need that for all the stone we're gathering. A few seconds left there. And we should have another ancient uh, skill here. Of early... Uh, Art artisans. Let's see. There we go. Put one of the bulls back in there. And we can drop off the picks too. I guess it doesn't matter where we put things. The peasants will be moving things around frequently too. Ah, now we have a stone spade. So now we can also make a shovel. I wonder if we can queue things up for ourselves. Uh, not quite. But we can make more than one. We just can't queue up multiple things. Only the feudal lord can use this item. Ah, so only we can use the shovel. That's a good thing. Okay, it looks like we're tired out again. Well, we have another shovel now. So we'll put that in there. Very close to being able to unlock the next thing. So let's build some more. Let's do another uh, pickaxe. And then we should be able to get our advanced mining up. So the other pickaxe should be useful in that case. Wow. Not enough stamina still. We should have what we need now. Oh wow, boxes are getting full. Wow, this is definitely a game that's going to take time to play. I like it. Uh, we need one more thing for science. One more for science. Well, we better keep doing pickaxes because we're probably going to need a lot of that. Stone and then eventually, you know, copper. And then we can start making bronze if we find tin or iron. And we can start making maybe a bronze pickaxe to get iron or whatnot. That would be kind of cool. And there we go. Another item complete. Hey, now we can research stone processing. Yay! All right, good. And we got all sorts of other materials. So this is going to be a breeze now. Now we can give orders. Let's put down our ordinary quarry. Oh, where do we put this? Uh, build an ordinary quarry. But it doesn't look like I can put it anywhere. Oh, I see. I see how that works. I'll put it next to that one. Cool. So now that's going to be built, and then a table for masonry. 
So now we need a masonry table. There it is. I guess we could build our mason near the mine itself. And we can put another chest over there too. And we've got ourselves a stone throne we can build, but we'll go with the obelisks. I guess that'll raise people's like morale or something. Oh, looks like we're going to need... Is that copper for that? Yep, so we'll need stone, polished stone, so that's what the masonry table will be for. Let's take a look at everybody's job. Okay. Well, I think we should have two artisans now. Uh, two miners. And we'll keep our woodcutter going. And they should have all the tools they need. I see a stone hammer here. We've got uh, a few pickaxes in these boxes. Yeah, we'll go drop off all of our materials. What do we have on us? Just a hammer and a copper axe there. Oh, it looks like we're going to need hides. That's going to be needed from the... It's going to be needed from the... Uh, hunter, I think. Okay, let's grab some of these. Okay, I think that works. I think. Okay. Alright, we have two hides here. Where do we have more hides? We need to make sure we've got the materials. Oh, we should be able to see our resources, though, with one of the hotkeys. Um, which one allows us to see all of our resources? Maybe L? Oh, this is... Oh, territory decoration. So people don't really like this stuff here out in the open. Uh, you can see detail light. Oh, lighting. Yep, okay. So N for science, M for our map. Building, population management. Farming menu. Control tips. And J for resources. There we go. Alright, so we can see that we only have two hides, so we need a hunter for sure. We'll have to reassign. One of the woodcutters now to be a hunter. Look, I guess we have enough wood, so that's fine. And we've got another person assigned to mining, so let's go two hunters. So hunter, hunter, miner, miner, artisan, artisan. Okay, that should fill up the remaining stuff that we need, because everything else has been pretty much made. We've got plenty of planks, don't we? Eleven here. Another eighteen here, so I'll grab those. And the artisans can continue to fulfill the orders of making more planks. And I don't think we need any more sticks, so let's just go ahead and make another 30 of those, if we could. And I don't really need tools anymore. Actually, you know what? Let's just let's just turn all the wood into... Yeah. Turn it all into planks. When we start building homes, that's going to be needed. Alright, time for me to take a nap. So now we need hides from the hunters. We need about uh, 45 lumber, and then the rest is a few sticks and all the uh, little stones. Alright, we'll speed up time a little bit. Free space is important. Good idea. Let's build another chest. There we go. Cool, we'll order two more chests to be built. To be fair, we've got quite a bit of uh, food and stuff in storage. The farmers have done a good job of going and grabbing pumpkins. And they planted those too. But I suppose we could have like roast pumpkin. Is there something we can make in the kitchen? Uh, boiled vegetables. Ah, okay. We can do that and reuse the bowls that I had in my inventory. Alright, time to wake up. Slow down time here. And do we have any builders assigned now? Let's go ahead and make sure we've got that going. Do we have the materials? Now we need to go to the J menu. Oh, look at that screen. That looks sweet. That's a really cool backdrop. Okay, we have seven, so we need the hunters to continue to work. In the meantime, planks are being made, so I can help with building. Let's check our menu to make sure we've got a hammer. We do. Well, let's grab some stone. I wonder if we have to do things in order. Let's see here. No, we do not. Okay, now we can drop off the stone. 
And grab the... Oh, we're gonna need five more. And we'll just grab a full stack. And we'll hopefully have the other builders build more chests shortly, or we can build one ourselves. Okay, a little bit longer. So 12 uh, planks to make those chests. That's going to be really helpful for us. Okay, there we go. All right, now we just need a few sticks. And we'll make the rest of those uh, chests now. Nice. Three spaces back up. Everybody's working day and night now. I'm almost got this quarry done. Man, just even scratching the surface. There's a lot to do here. We obviously have to build ourselves some big houses and do farming. That's cool. We're going to have to build like a, a barn and a farmhouse. All right, now we just need the hides. We can finish this thing. Oh, and there they are. Perfect. Good job, Hunter team. Glory to Raptoria. Everybody's doing a good job. Nicely done. Very good. Nothing but good vibes and positivity here. We got highly motivated individuals ready to rock. Very nice. Okay, now we'll have to build the obelisks. So that means a miner will have to be assigned here. And we'll have to tell them to get copper rather than stone. And there it is. Ready to rock, baby. Nicely done. Okay, well, hopefully we can command that now. Oh, yep, more miners can come over. Perfect. Now we can keep gathering stone. That'll be needed for the obelisks. So each of them needs 15 polished stones. So do we have to assign somebody to, like, um, stone cutter or anything? I guess artisan just counts as that. Eating different types of food produces more happiness. Ah, good. Yeah, there's lots of tips that they're giving us on the screen, aren't they? Nice. Okay, so we need... Um, 15, oh, it's 15 times 3. I, we're going to need more than that. Let's just go with, we'll just produce 100. Uh, or maybe we'll just start with 50. Yeah, we'll do half that. We'll do 50. Or maybe, mm, that's not going to be enough either. I guess 100. That seems too ambitious, though. But whatever. Okay, so 15 stone can be made at that crafting table. And we need 3 copper, which I think can be gathered from... What's his name? Ooh, we have plenty of stuff here. Wow, yeah, we're going to need more storage. We're definitely going to have to work on storage, aren't we? Figure out where, what goes where, and maybe we can limit certain boxes and be more organized later. Oh, here we go. Our boy here has copper ore. So, that needs to be smelted down into something else. Priority number two. I can't see exactly what it takes, though. Let's see. Oh, if they have it in their inventory, it doesn't count as us having it either. So they'll have to drop it off because I don't see the ore there. Wow, look at everybody going, though. A lot of people moving around this place. And we got those obelisks to build the future of Raptoria. Beacons of freedom for everybody coming into our town. Got some gold, too, so tr obviously trading a thing. Damn. All right, let's see. Lots of wheat to do. Lots of planks to do. Lots of leather. Out of the way, sheep. Oh, research, too. Let's get some research done. So if we make more stone, then we can start researching archery so we can defend ourselves better. Or go down the sheep breeding path, and that should help it to make a little bit more sleeping bags. I think we only have two at the moment. But now we got to build those three obelisks, so let's speed up time. A new peasant has arrived. Excellent. Let's give you... The job of being a... Another artisan, please. We're gonna need a lot of artisans. We got a lot of stuff being made. Comet sighted! Tonight the sky lit up with a bright flash of light. There are rumors... Uh, there are different rumors about this in the village. This is a bad sign. This is a sign. Need to conduct observations. We have earthly met We get one science. Get 125 experience points. Potion of Intelligence. All peasants get the effect whipped for half the day. Uh, hmm. 
I like the uh, whole science thing, the, the science point. I like that. Cool. Ah, there we go. Now we can research something here. Now we have a, a point to research. Something under upgrades. Let's see. Improved benches. Uh, decrease stamina expense needed for crafting. Oh, that sounds like a perfect one. Allowing our people to make more stuff. Hell yeah. I don't know if that's just us or everybody, but that seems to be a good thing to do. Okay, uh, do we need a nap? I guess we'll just take a little nap. A little morning nap. Okay, that's good for now. Alright, so now we got to start polishing these uh, stones here. So recipes, yeah, stone, stone brick. But we need to have... Oh, we should probably put a... Uh, I could do this myself. Oh, there we go. We made two... Oh, we're making lots of those. So now we just need a builder to get the crafting on this. Let's have some one one of these guys be a builder now. Looks like we got more than enough stuff. Awesome. Now we can start uh, delivering things to the obelisks. And see if we can craft this stuff into copper. Ordinary quarry. I believe this is copper here. Or maybe it's clay. I'm not sure. But I assume since we built an ordinary... Oh, it's clay. Okay. So it's not copper, it's clay. But it looks like we had what we needed for that. And we are getting lots of copper now, too. We must be getting clay from one of the quarries. That's the only place we're digging. Regardless, the stuff's coming from where we need it. All right, a couple more obelisks and we're done. Looks like we can build a bonfire. Let's put that over by the mines. Enemies are near! Uh, we have nothing to fear if enemies are near. Oh, let's dance, baby. You guys want to bro down with us? Hell yeah. Hey man, brother, sound the alarm. All units, prepare for defense of Raptoria. Two arms, everybody. I think we have some clubs. Oh wow, some people are grabbing pitchforks and stuff. Nice. We should probably order some weapons to be made. I didn't realize they'd attack so frequently. Uh, let's go ahead and make... Oh, I don't know. Uh, let's try to make ten of these. There we go, so everybody can have a weapon in the future. Oh boy, oh, sorry. Wait, I gotta get my sword. There we go. Nerds are coming in. Get them, boys! Oh, whoa, whoa. Did we lose somebody? Oh, we might lose somebody. What, oh, you just hit me with a... Whoa, I'm locked. Uh, stun locked. Stun locked, bro. Not cool. Wait a minute, what? Oh my god. I'm stun locked! <laughs> I couldn't move. That's not fair. Well... Well, well. Let's load that game. Bum, bum, bum. Back we go. Ah. It's like it never happened. Cool. Oh, I guess it went back a little bit in time. We'll uh, have to load another save before the attack. You guys have been amazing. Thanks for being here. This is a good first look. There is a lot to do in this game, so we'll definitely come on back to see more of it as well. We'll have some more combat. We'll build some defenses and do much more in this game in the future. Go ahead and get this one today on Steam and send me pictures of what you've done on our Discord. If you think we can make any improvements or whatnot, grab the game today. Jump on the Discord and show me some pictures. I'd love to see what you do. Glory to Raptoria. Thanks again for all the positivity and support. Don't forget to say hi. Don't forget to say glory to Raptoria. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Don't forget to smash like. You guys have been amazing, and I'd like to see you back soon for more. This game's nice. I think we'll do a full live stream on this one, because there's a lot to do here, and I'd love to do it. I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye. Take care, and we'll see you next time.